Why couldn't we have done the 30 Rock sketch that I wrote? Honestly, not enough people know that show. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity reactions to SNL impression sketches. Oh no, oh, oh, I burned these cookies. Mom is gonna kill me, oh! For this list, we're looking at how actors, politicians, and other noteworthy individuals have reacted to being impersonated either on an episode of Saturday Night Live or by their cast elsewhere. What's your favorite SNL impression? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Brad Pitt as Dr. Anthony Fauci. Good evening, I'm Dr. Anthony Fauci. When asked by a CNN anchor about whether he wanted Ben Stiller or Brad Pitt to play him, Dr. Fauci quickly answered the latter. He's an, uh, they can have vaccines, I think, relatively soon. Relatively soon is an interesting phrase. Rel then, with a few dashes of pixie dust and what we're assuming are a few phone calls later, the Hollywood heavyweight magically appeared during an at-home episode of SNL doing a great impression of the well-known doctor. Also, when he said everyone can get a test, what he meant was almost no one. The bit consisted of a lot of Fauci's responses to then-President Donald Trump's comments about the pandemic. Fauci was all smiles and laughs as he went on record saying he would loved the entire bit. I think he did great. I mean, I'm a great fan of Brad Pitt, and that's the reason why when people asked me who I would like to play me, I mentioned Brad Pitt because he's one of my favorite actors. Number 9. Ariana Grande as Jennifer Lawrence They told me not to do a game show, but I was like, screw it, I can have fun, I'm a regular person. She may be an Academy Award-winning actress, but Jennifer Lawrence is almost known more for her regular person persona than any of her work. But I really am just a regular person. I don't get caught up in all the celebrity BS. I don't care that I've never been named People Magazine's most beautiful woman in the world. <laughs> Or that Julia Roberts has gotten it five times. I think there'd be like some kind of limit. When actress and singer Ariana Grande hosted the show in 2016, she did her own take on Jennifer for the show's family feud bit. While answering one of the questions, Jennifer goes off on a tangent about eating that sounded very much like what the actual actress would say. I'm just like a snackaholic. I mean, I love Pringles. If no one's looking, I'll eat like a whole can. Like every day is my cheat day, you know what I mean? Apparently, Jennifer agreed. When asked about the impression in a Vogue magazine cover story, she said Grande was spot on. Number 8. Maya Rudolph as Donatella Versace Donatella Versace? When you hear the name Versace, you think of high-end fashion. But in the world of Saturday Night Live, they took it to a whole new place. Hot Pockets Maya Rudolph portrayed the fashion maven in a couple of bits, but the one that stands out the most is the Versace Pockets commercial. It's just like regular Hot Pockets, but for rich people. Versace Pockets come in three exciting flavors. Monterey chicken, champagne, and my personal favorite, cheesy chili cheeseburger. After seeing the portrayal and laughing hysterically at it, the real Versace called Rudolph up herself to give her tips on how to make the impression even better. Now that's what you call class. Hello, Donatella. Hello, Donatella. You look so fabulous. Oh my god. I have always wanted to hear myself tell myself that. Number 7. Eddie Murphy as Stevie Wonder. The ebony and ivory live together in perfect. It can sometimes be hard to remember the fact that an icon like Eddie Murphy got his start on SNL. Although his rendition of James Brown was killer. It was his take on Stevie Wonder that makes this list. Living in perfect harmony. We're talking salt and pepper. Sammy and Dean. It's an impression he would perform several times, including in his comedy special Delirious. And the winner is Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. And I'd like to say that all the people in the world did. For us, though, what makes the impression stand out even more is how Stevie Wonder himself reacted. Wonder appeared on SNL alongside Murphy, who was in character as Wonder. The impersonated version was giving the real one tips on how to be a better Stevie Wonder. I, I know Stevie Wonder, man, and he's like, you have to mellow out when you do Stevie. You're too tense. I'm too enough. Okay. The, the secret to doing Stevie Wonder is that. If that doesn't tell you how well he was enjoying it, we don't know what would. Number 6. Chloe Fineman as Carol Baskin. 
Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Carol Baskin. So far on this list, the reactions have been pretty good, but they're not always glowing accommodations. When Tiger King's Carol Baskin caught SNL cast member Chloe Fineman's impression of her on Instagram, the reality TV star was not too impressed. The quick video had Chloe poking fun at Carol's daily videos while denying any illicit activities regarding her missing husband. And also, I did not kill my husband. While appearing on The Pet Show with Dennis Quaid podcast, she responded by saying, quote, I could just slap that woman. That is not how I speak. She went on to explain how she was frustrated at how fans were asking her to talk like the now famous impression. This whole like, my kitty meow meow, kitty meow, and she would just like say all these really weird world words all in a row. And so that became really popular, I guess, in in popular culture and people wanted me to to talk like that on the cameos and i'm like i have no idea how to talk like that that's that is not how i speak number five kate mckinnon as ruth bader ginsburg known for her plethora of impressions kate mckinnon appeared on snl's weekend update as the famous supreme court justice with a spot on voice, one of McKinnon's best bits as Ginsburg involved shoving her face full of vitamin power to stay alive and healthy. Excuse me, don't take my vitamin. Yeah. Oh my God. That's... <laughs> as the Supreme Court Justice, she often took pot shots at various politicians and others, making use of a new catchphrase, Ginsburned. Throw in some dancing and it was a lively impersonation. Speaking of bite me, Giuliani, you just got Ginsburned. <laughs> For Ginsburg herself, she apparently loved the bit and even wished she too could Ginsburn some of her colleagues. I like the the actress who portrayed me. I think what is it? Kate McKinnon. I think yeah. yeah. And I would like to say Ginsburn <laughs> sometimes. Number four, Kate McKinnon as Hillary Clinton. Appearing for the second time on this list, Kate McKinnon brought home another great impersonation in that of former First Lady Hillary Clinton. Uh, thank you for having me. In the first debate, I, I set the table. In the second debate, I fired up the grill. And tonight, I feast. Having done the impression multiple times on the show, McKinnon had become an old pro at it. Whether it was her debate with Trump or her video announcement of running for president, the laughs never fail. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Clinton herself thought the impersonation was fabulous and even wrote about McKinnon's hallelujah skit in her book What Happened. Even Kate's reaction to the reaction was memorable when she appeared on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon and spoke about it. Can you believe so? <laughs> I can tell I've been left. That's just, I mean, that's I, like I the craziest, that. that's just the craziest thing that ever happened to me. Number three, Larry David as Bernie Sanders. These podiums, what are you supposed to do with your elbows? <laughs> Rest them on top? They're too short. When Bernie Sanders was shown a clip of Larry David's SNL impression of him, his reaction consisted of these exact words. I think we'll use Larry on our next rally. He does better than I do. <laughs> what more could be said than that? Larry's multiple takes at the then presidential candidate were some of his best work. One segment in particular was spun as an episode of his show, Curb Your Enthusiasm. And if you hadn't caught the fact that it was SNL, you might think it was the real deal. Come on, Mr. Sanders, don't be rude. Shake my wife's hand. Sorry, I'm not being rude. She's the one who's being rude by offering a German-fested hand. A German-fested hand? Is that right? I'm a voter is what I am, Bernie. German-fested hand. I am running for president. I do not shake disgusting hand. The impression then went full meta when both appeared on The Today Show, when Larry did yet another quick impression. She's doing too well. <laughs> it's frightening to me how well he's doing. Number two, Tina Fey as Sarah Palin. Another famous politician who received the SNL impersonation treatment was former vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin. I promise that when Senator McCain and I are elected, we're going to get those jobs back in American hands. Portrayed by Tina Fey on countless occasions, Palin's reaction was mixed, depending on what you read. One report said she thought it was funny since she had dressed up as Tina Fey one year for Halloween. 
but another claimed that she went on the show as herself to counter the so-called dumbed-down portrayal Faye had been giving. Yeah, Lauren, you know, I just didn't think it was a realistic depiction of the way my press conferences would have gone. Either way, it looks like Palin got the last laugh, as she did her own spoof of Tina Fey in a parody video entitled 31 Rock. The only PC I need is right here. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Vanessa Bayer as Miley Cyrus. Loved the riff, and even gave her suggestions to improve it. So that's pretty cool. So, how do you like the show so far, Justin? It's okay. Would you say it's pretty cool? No, actually, I, I, I wouldn't say that. Will Ferrell as James Lipton. Told Andy Cohen he loved it. When one thinks of the greatest all-time films made by mankind <laughs> in this century or in any other, one name keeps coming up again and again and again and again. Melissa McCarthy as Sean Spicer was not Melissa's biggest fan. Because I'm not here to be your buddy. I'm here to swallow gum and I'm here to take Nate. Kristen Wiig as Kathy Lee Gifford seemed a little insulted. Can someone dim the lights, huh? huh? Can someone put some Vaseline in the lens? I mean, it's like the movie Cocoon over here. Oh. <laughs> Vanessa Bayer as Jennifer Aniston appeared on SNL with Bayer in character. I mean, all it kind of just sounds like all you're doing is like, what? Oh, what? Me? Oh, wow. No. I get it. What? what? Yes. Wow. Is it like this? No. What? Wow. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Will Ferrell as Alex Trebek Will Ferrell was a legend during his time on Saturday Night Live. This is the sound a doggy makes. <laughs> Mr. Connery. Mool. <laughs> No. Well, that's the sound your mother made last night. One of his signature sketches was Celebrity Jeopardy, where he portrayed the former host of the game show, Alex Trebek. Often seen bantering with Sean Connery, fans loved this sketch so much that it appeared 15 times on the comedy program. Fantastic. I'm, I'm so very happy in this moment. Well, I thought you could use it, friend. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Trebek went on record praising the impressions of him from Will Ferrell on SNL. People who come to the studio always ask me, how do you feel about the Saturday Night Live takeoffs of Jeopardy? I love them. Uh, it means you've arrived. It's a tribute to how gracious a man he was, and that it's better to take it with a laugh than with a growl. From all of us to all of you, good night. Good night. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.